In this unit we will consider simple algebra with vectors. You will be able to review and practice addition of vectors, multiplication of vectors by a scalar, computation of the dot or scalar product of two vectors, computation of the vector or cross product of vectors, and computation of the length of a vector. Addition of vectors. If we have a vector a that's written in component form ax, ay and az and similarly b in component forms bx, by and bz then the sum of the vectors can be written in component form ax plus bx, ay plus by, az plus bz. For example, if a is 1, 2, minus 3, and b is 3, 4, minus 5, then the sum of a and b has components 1 plus 3, 2 plus 4, minus 3, plus minus 5, which equals 4, 6, minus 8. Check that you understand how to add vectors together using these two examples where the answers are given. The multiplication of a vector by a scalar is the same as repeated addition. So, if A is written in component form AX, AY, AZ and lambda is some real number, then lambda lots of a is calculated just by multiplying each of the components of a by lambda. So we get lambda ax, lambda ay, and lambda az as the components of the product of lambda with a. For example, if a is 1, 2 minus 3 and lambda equals 3 then lambda a is equal to 3 times 1 3 times 2 3 times minus 3 which is 3 6 minus 9 To calculate the dot product or scalar product of two vectors written in component form A is AX, AY, AZ and B is BX, BY and BZ then we just multiply the components in turn and add them together. So A dot B is AX, BX plus AY, BY plus AZ, BZ. For example, if A is 1 minus 2, 4, and B is 2 minus 1 minus 2, then A dot B is 1 times 2, plus minus 2 times minus 1, plus 4 times minus 2, which equals minus 4. Check that you understand how to calculate dot or scalar products on these two examples below which have the answer given. Now, calculating the vector or cross product of two vectors is the most difficult thing that you will have to do in this learning unit. Um, and even I get this wrong sometimes, so don't worry about it. Um, however, if we have vectors A and B given in component form, A is AX, AY, AZ, and B is BX, BY, BZ, then cross product which can be written either with this times symbol or with this up hatch symbol has in component form AYBZ minus AZBY, AZBX minus AXBZ, AXBY minus AYBX. For example, if A is 1 minus 2, 4 
and B is 2 minus 1 minus 2, then the vector product or cross product of A and B is calculated as minus 2 times minus 2, minus 4 times minus 1, which is 8, 4 times 2, minus 1 times minus 2, which is 10, and 1 times minus 1, minus minus 2 times 2, which is 3. Now, at the end of a calculation like this, I will wonder, have I got the right answer? Because I can always make mistakes. So, as we know, the cross product of two vectors is perpendicular to both of the original vectors. So, A cross B should be perpendicular to A and perpendicular to B. And I test that out by doing the dot product of my result, 8, 10, 3, with 1, minus 2, 4, and 2, minus 1, 2. And if you do that, you'll see that the answer is 0 in both cases. Now check that you understand how to calculate the vector product of two vectors using these two examples where the answers are given. To calculate the length of a vector, a, given in component form ax, ay, az, then we essentially use Pythagoras' theorem, which is that the length of a, which is also the dot product of a with itself, the square root of that, is equal to the square root of ax squared plus ay squared plus az squared. For example, if a is 1 minus 2, 4, then the length of a is the square root of 1 squared plus minus 2 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of 21. Check that you understand how to calculate the length of vectors on these two examples where you have the answers below. OK, so you've reached the end of the unit, well done, where you have been able to uh, practice um, the addition of vectors the multiplication of vectors by a scalar, the computation of the scalar or dot product of vectors, the computation of the vector or cross product of vectors, and the computation of the length of a vector. Now, or in the near future, you should go and do the first MAPLE TA test, Simple Algebra with Vectors.